journey to Petra Ram was driven by love. He fled from his brother Esau and arrived at the home of his uncle Laban, where he soon encountered Laban's younger daughter. Her name was Rachel. The moment Jacob saw Rachel, he knew she was the one he wanted to marry. He was uh, so captivated by her beauty, by her character, that he was willing to work seven long years to win the heart of the girl. He wanted to marry her. As the years passed, Jacob loved Rachel, uh, and that love only deepened itself. The Bible tells us in Genesis chapter 29, verse 18, that uh, Jacob loved Rachel and that he said, I'll serve you, uncle, seven years for your younger daughter, Rachel. Seven years might, might seem like a long time to wait, but for Jacob, it felt like it was just like a few days because of the love he had for Rachel. He labored diligently, driven by the hope of their future together. Man, talk about faith. When the time finally came for Jacob to marry Rachel, a great celebration was held, but under the cover of the night, Laban, his uncle, deceived Jacob. Instead of giving him Rachel, the one he worked for, Laban gave him Leah, his older daughter. Jacob was devastated when he discovered the deception the next morning. Can you imagine? I would be mad too. In Genesis chapter 29, verses 25, Jacob confronts Laban asking, what is this that you have done to me? I, I, did I not serve you for seven years so that I would have Rachel? Why didn't have you deceived me? Laban's explanation was rooted in the culture norms, but it didn't erase the sting of the betrayal. Yet Jacob did something remarkable. He did not lash out in anger or seek revenge. Instead, he chose to honor his commitment and agreed to work another seven years for Rachel. This decision showed extraordinary patience and determination. Patience and determination are, and determination are like twins. They're inseparable. Jacob didn't allow bitterness to consume him. Instead, he patiently served, trusting that in the end he would receive the reward he longed for. But Jacob's story is not just about his love for Rachel. It is also about his relationship with Leah. Leah was pushed into a marriage where she was not uh, the first choice, where she might uh, have felt unloved and overshadowed by the love the husband had for her sister. Yet, Jacob did not reject her. Although he loved Rachel more, Jacob remained kind to Leah, fulfilling his duties as a husband and a father to their children. Jacob's treatment of Leah, despite the complicated situation, circumstances, is, is a powerful example of kindness, of responsibility in family relationship. He, even though Leah was not the wife he initially desired, uh, Jacob did not, he did not neglect his duties uh, towards her. He honored his role as her husband and the father of their children, providing for her and treating her with the dignity that every woman in the ancient context deserved. In a time when society norms often place women in vulnerable positions, Jacob's actions towards Leah demonstrated a commitment to respect and honor, even in less than ideal circumstances. He gave Leah the recognition and care that affirmed her worth despite the fact that his heart was with Rachel. This ought to teach us that kindness in any relationship, but especially within family relationships, goes beyond mere feelings. It involves a conscious choice to honor and respect each member of the family. Fulfilling our responsibility towards them with love and compassion. In today's context, this translates to ensuring that every family member feels valued and cared for, honored. Even when emotions or circumstances are complex and maybe not even ideal, it is a reminder that kindness is about giving each other the dignity they deserve regardless of the challenges or conflicts that we my face. Patience, too, plays a crucial role in family life. Jacob's willingness to work another seven years for Rachel despite the, despite the, the deception is a testament to, to the power of patience itself. 
I need you to pay attention to this following statement. He didn't demand immediate justice. He patiently endured the hardship by keeping his eyes on the prize. Rachel, this sentence emphasizes Jacob's remarkable response to Laban's deception. Instead of reacting impulsively with anger and seeking immediate revenge for the wrong done to him, Jacob chose to endure the hardship with patience. Wow, was he focused? His focus rem remained on his ultimate goal, being with Rachel, the woman he loved. In the context of family life, this attitude is particularly significant. It highlights the importance of patience and, and long-term perspective when dealing with conflicts and disappointments. By keeping his eyes on the ultimate goal, Jacob was able to navigate a challenging situation without letting bitterness and resentment take over. This teaches us the value of maintaining a calm and patient demeanor in our family relationships, even when faced with unfairness and trials. The ability to endure hardship with a focus on the bigger picture can lead to a greater harmony and fulfillment in, in, in a family life. We often face situations that requires us to be patient, whether it is waiting for a loved one to change and get ready and during difficult circumstances, or simply bearing with each other's flaws. And how we act around these situations will determine how harmonious our relationships will be. Patience is important. Do you know that patience and kindness lead to something very important called forgiveness? which is another essential element for relationships to thrive, for the well-being of our relationships. Try patience and kindness within your family context and see forgiveness be unleashed. Just as Jacob forgave uh, Laban's deception, we are called to forgive those in our family who may hurt us. Colossians 3.13 reminds us, it says this, Bear with one another, forgive one another. If any of you has some grievance against someone, forgive as the Lord has forgiven us. That's what Paul reminds us. Holding on to grudges only sows discord. Forgiveness paves the way for healing and reconciliation. Jacob's story is not just an ancient tale. It is a mirror reflecting the challenges we face in our own families today. By following Jacob's example of kindness and patience, we can cultivate a family environment that is loving, that is supportive, that is enduring, lasting. Let Jacob's story inspire us to act with more love and grace, trusting that God will bless our efforts to build strong, more harmonious relationships within our families.